Nightclubs, movie theaters, even church. We all know that violent situations can occur anywhere, not just on college campuses. But WKU is following the lead of both the city of Houston and Ohio State University, who have produced videos about how to respond to an active shooter. Those initial shots of him drawing that firearm and, 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 and firing a couple shots, it looked like something you'd see on the news from a security camera. When we had that, I think we knew we had something that, that was going to, to really leave an impact with the audience when they were done watching the video. WKU-PBS just completed a five-minute video highlighting a survival technique trademarked by the city of Houston. We looked at the run, hide, fight as being the, the best option. It was one that FEMA has adopted for businesses and institutions of learning, hospitals, etc. Ohio State University showcased the run, hide, fight strategy in a video six months ago. WKU emergency management quickly got WKU police and the PBS station on board to replicate the same video here. By having a video, people are able to see what's going on, able to feel like they're in the situation, and be able to make a good decision as to what to do. Videoing began back in January, and for some scenes, actors from the community were used. We were trying to portray a very frightening um, scenario where there is a lot of emotion involved. Our actors reacted perfectly. Uh, Sam did an amazing job portraying an active shooter. Oliver says it's a mentality we all must adopt. Being on alert. If you see something, say something. And finally, run, hide, and fight. People have to be aware, be vigilant. And, uh, and know what to do when something happens. And that's really what we're trying to do through this training is make them aware of, of their options to respond. If you would like to view the video yourself, log on to wku.edu forward slash emergency. The video, along with supplemental training material, will be rolled out across campus this fall to faculty, staff, and students. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.